Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I know too. you. How do I yeah. know you? Uh, we met in Toronto a few years ago. Shut your goddamn oh. mouth. Oh. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> What's so, your name again, sir? Uh, Stefan. Nice to see you again. Nice to see yeah. you. Stefan. Yeah. Stephen, Hi, I'm Kyle. enjoying the crockery in the background and the I'm loving the lampshades, lamp man. Shades. Um, uh, I've got a lot of time for those. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not my house. I'm at the Soho Hotel. I just didn't have an interview upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought anyone... you were going to say your grandmother's house. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should have. I should have taken full that. I should have said, "Yeah, this is my house." But then you would have seen people walk past. It would, would have looked like I had help, but I don't <laughs> have anyone. <laughs> Who do you live with, <laughs> no one works for me. Um, oh, nice to to see you, you too. I'm talking of sets. I wanted to speak about the set. You guys stepped foot on into this incredible show i mean the things that they build on these series are, are remarkable how much does it help actors when you walk onto sets like this and is, is it a bit like walking into a star wars theme park oh it was amazing yeah. it's more like you know when you're a kid and you have to use your imagination mm -hmm. so hard to create dens and like little worlds that you create for yourself and then you find yourself at like 40 walking around dressed as an imperial officer with death troopers surrounded by aliens and stormtroopers and shops and it was it was a profound privilege to walk onto that set because the amount of work that went into it and all of it was there to help us to do our job the best that we could. I mean, that's like the greatest luxury because so often you can work on screen and everything is designed not to help you. Yeah. And so you have to develop a technique which makes you sort of kind of environment proof you don't have to have anything around you you can act with a tennis ball you can like i mean it's a pain in the ass but you learn how to do it but on this you just had to do it because it was all there i also learned after my first day on set that i needed to get there at least 15 minutes early in order just to like walk around walk around and like scratch my childhood itch of like yeah wow, like, look at what can be created when amazingly creative, intuitive people, like, problem solve and come together yeah. and, like, imagine together. Yeah. But and also that that's what people do for their jobs. Yeah, like, no, was, it, being a kid, nobody told me at school, you know that you could grow you could up and, like, train to yeah, build things that yeah. end up in a, I was told, nurse or a teacher. <laughs> And now I'm both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you scratch that childhood itch by stealing anything? Come on, you must have taken something. No way. Somebody got fired, no. so we learned. Oh, really? yeah. Man, you would have been blow darted like instantaneously. Yeah, they're everywhere. Like, they, These uh, Disney like yeah, I mean, moles. shan't be named and gone into. But yeah, there was someone who nicked a bit of the money, and he was on props. And then, literally an hour later, he wasn't on props anymore. And yeah. I don't know if he'll work again. Like, Let the Empire run a tough regime. That's yeah, right, man. Totally. <laughs> but once we're finished season two, I'm walking out there. I'm walking full out with everything. And two <laughs> yeah. Death Troopers. Yeah. Y'all can't stop me now. <laughs> yeah, I dare you, motherfuckers. Um, I was going to, I mean, uh, Denise, I was going to ask you about Dedra Miro. He's such a great character. So unfazed, diligent. She's hell bent on working her way out through what is an otherwise quite male dominated landscape. It must be great to have those kind of side narratives, things to enrich and provide nuance to characters that avoid them becoming just archetypal bad guys, I suppose. Yeah, totally. And I think that we've discussed there's a lot that both our characters have they've been fleshed out in such an amazing way and what I really love though about Dedra is yes it's undeniable and unavoidable to mention the fact that she's a woman in a male dominated sphere right but what I love about the entire show is that she is a woman so hell bent on, on having full control and being at the very top of a fascist regime that she will go to any lengths to prove that she's worthy of that and her gender doesn't come into it after a while mm. like it just doesn't matter but it's worth saying because we need to keep like cheering when there are like women in these positions it's fantastic but after a while it will be second nature to see in all these kinds of films that women can do just as many heinous awful things as men can without mm. asking ever for an apology um, mm. and I am getting a real kick out of playing that um, mm. as opposed to it always being about her being a woman. And do you guys have to believe your characters are doing right, even if they're doing wrong, to help you get into the heads and understand like who they are, what their motives are? Tony's written it. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's written it, and it's really our jobs just to say the lines. And I think we're both actors that like to understand where our characters come from, yeah, and what are their motivations lie. and what their desires are. But whether 
they're likable or not, or whether we can justify them or not. It doesn't, it doesn't come into my or your no. kind of purview or, or thinking space. But I think what Tony has created are these characters where you really understand their sense of justice, right and wrong. Yeah. There's a lot of light and shade there. They're conflicted. They've, they've got, you know, yeah, like, extreme things to deal with from a very human perspective. Yeah, and you only have to look at any kind of crazed regime that is in operation anywhere in this world to know that if you spoke to somebody at the top of that regime, they're not going to say to you, I'm doing a really bad thing. Mm. They're going to say, I believe entirely in what I'm doing. And so, and so the, the trick then when you're playing a character like this is to believe entirely in what you're doing. I don't mm. judge her. I mean, as Denise, I'm going, she's crazy, <laughs> but great, all the more fun for me. But, but she's doing it because she wants to save the empire. Like that's mm. a pretty noble thing to want to do in her eyes. She's like, I'm doing this for your own good, mm. Mm. <laughs> which is the worst thing when, it's, when an evil person <laughs> says that to you, <laughs> you know you're getting tortured, you know? <laughs> Yes, well written. Anyway, I bet a girl I'm going to go cook dinner in my lovely house that I definitely live in. Yeah, great, 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 great. Say hi to you, Brad. Nice to see you, Cheers, nice to see you too. Take care. Thanks, dude. Bye, bye, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!